Hi guys. <laughs> this fresh air feels so, so good. This weekend is supposed to be like really nice. So let's get into it. First of all, welcome back to a new vlog. As you can very much see from the title of this video, the fact that right now I am not sitting in Palm Springs and this is not a Palm Springs vlog. <laughs> and also the fact that no Palm Springs content has gone up on Instagram either. Guys, I never went to Palm Springs. My Palm Springs trip has been, let's just say postponed. That was never the plan, obviously. Let's just blame this all on Juan. It's all Juan's fault, actually. <laughs> I would say about five days before we were supposed to go on our trip, Juan ended up getting sick and he tested positive for COVID. And immediately when he got sick and before he even before we even knew that he was positive with COVID, he went into self-isolation. And so we were very much separate in the house and I was taking care of him quite a bit. And over the course of that time, I took multiple COVID tests and I was testing negative. So I thought very much like we were in the clear, but getting down to the wire with the trip, he was still testing positive. So we thought long and hard about it. And obviously the best move was to just cancel the trip. Obviously not the easiest. No one, I mean, I never want to cancel a trip. I was, it was like really hard to like make that decision, but you know, something that we've been preaching for these last, how many years we've been in this, like we don't want to spread COVID and be a part of the problem. So we ended up just postponing the trip, I guess. So we found a better time in a couple of weeks that we can go. So we will 100% be better by then in a few weeks. And then in hindsight, I was really glad that we made that decision because almost the next day, even after multiple, and I mean multiple negative COVID tests, ended up going to a testing center and I ended up testing positive and then I just like was full blown sick. I mean, it was brutal, you guys. I had three days of a fever and the worst congestion I've ever experienced in my life. Not a fun time. I definitely don't wish that upon anybody. All I can do is sit here and laugh about it because this is the first time that I've had COVID and of course it comes literally right before we're about to leave for a trip. So, ah, uh, of course that was to happen. It's honestly okay though. I mean, good news is I'm already packed. <laughs> Ah, my suitcase is still sitting in my office and since it's not like summer here like I don't have a need for any of those clothes you know I just took a shower by the way too and that felt amazing so yeah I'm pretty much just like keeping everything in its suitcase the only thing obviously still left to pack would be toiletries and makeup and stuff um so there's good news there and then good news also is that it gave me more time to do i guess more shopping um because while i was planning out my outfits i was like oh it would be nice to have this or that and so i was able to get this or that too i think one of the main things i don't think i said it in the video but what i was thinking is i would love to have a pair of black trouser shorts of some sort and so i since finding out I went on to Aritzia and I ended up ordering a few pairs um, to try out I actually just got them in so I can try them on for you guys in this video So a little bit of a silver lining. I'm always trying to find the silver lining and the positive of everything I mean, I said I needed time off so I Got time off. I mean sick time off and then I'll end up having more time off in a couple of weeks So good news there too. I don't know. I'm just trying to make light of the whole situation. So a Palm Springs vlog is still coming. The suspense is just gonna have to build a little bit longer. You guys are gonna have to wait a little bit longer to get that content. But I am so excited for it. And honestly, with everything, with helping to take care of Juan and then getting everything at work ready to go, getting everything here at home ready to go, like I was so stressed and just, didn't have enough time so yes it all worked out the way it was supposed to and also i ended up watching like two and a half seasons of Grey's anatomy i took the opportunity to try to catch up on Grey's anatomy even though i'm still far from catching up i think i watched the last couple episodes of season 12 all of season 13 all of season 14 and i'm halfway through season 15 right now so yeah i guess that's more than two and a half seasons maybe but yeah <laughs> 
Oh my god, look at Oliver right now. It's just a baby. So Juan went out for a little bit of a walk and also to get some things for lunch. Also, I forgot to add, I did go into self-isolation. I am past like the isolation time period, so I can go out and about if I want to. I feel absolutely amazing. I still have like a little bit of congestion as you could probably hear. I'm still just like playing it safe a little bit. But yeah, I think while he's out and about, I just wanted to start to like vacuum and clean up a little bit, get fresh air throughout the house, do laundry, just do a bunch of things. I have a lot of like built up energy and stuff so it's gonna be super productive i hope today so let's get to it and i'm also just letting my hair air dry and so since i ended up rescheduling palm springs trip i did move up my hair appointment as well so that's next week which i'm really excited for i think i'm still only going to get a trim <laughs> and you guys this is all breakage like this is all really bad so <laughs> I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna get a good chunk taken off just to like make it super blunt and clean again. But anyways, let's get to it. Oliver, I'm gonna clean and vacuum. I don't think you're gonna be very happy about that. Are you sleeping? Bud, are you sleeping? <laughs> I'm gonna vacuum. You're gonna have to wake up. To show you the few things that I got from Aritzia while I'm in this room cleaning up. Might as well just do it right now. So these are the first black trouser short that I got. You guys, these are so nice. I actually ended up sizing up in these to a size zero. I purchased these in both the double zero and the zero. So when I was returning a pair of the always effortless pants and the double zero, the linen ones that I keep saying, like they were way too small, even though I'm always a double zero. And the effortless pants, the associate said that they changed like the sizing on them and that they now run a little small. And so that was kind of like in the back of my mind when I was ordering other bottoms from Aritzia, like online. And so yeah, I'm really glad that I actually got two sizes in this because the zero fits a lot better than the double zero I don't know if they just changed their sizes in a lot of things. That's kind of strange to me I did get these in I think it's like the coffee bean color like the really dark brown color It's really gorgeous, but I got those in a double zero So I just reordered those but this is really really nice like it fits my waist really nice I like the length. It's a three inch inseam and they're just kind of like flowy but fitted at the same time i don't know i really like this length on me personally so this is the first one and it's called the pleated three inch shorts and this is the second pair that i got it's a lot longer you can see it's like a five inch inseam i think is what it is and it has like a lot more of like a structured fit to them this is in a double zero and i feel like it's a little bit tight like in the crotch area i do like them but i do feel like it's a little long on me like i feel like i need to wear some sort of like heels with this to make my legs look a little bit longer you know but they are nice and it's like a really soft material too the waist fits really nice but yeah this one is just like a little bit more structured this one is called the wagner shorts so yeah, all of these come in like multiple colors too. Last ones up, these are the Fable shorts. So I actually have these in another color that I got a year ago, I think at least over a year ago. And so similar sizing story with these. So the other ones that I have is in a double zero. However, the double zero in this year's model is way too small for me. So these are actually a size zero so strange the waist on this is like a little bit looser because i had to size up but i mean the other ones were so tight it did not look good at all and i like how like loose this is and this is like a linen material so it's gonna be really nice like on any vacation i like the color of these too i feel like they'll look amazing once i have a tan i also got them in the natural color that is still coming it's not coming until next week so we'll see if there's one that i prefer over the other or if i just like both and we'll keep both this one has like a little bit of a 
a cinched band on the back of them so it's more of like a casual trouser short just given like this cinched waistband on the back there's obviously no like butt pockets on this as well but yeah i like the look of them they're really comfy really flowy easy to like move in and stuff like that so yeah those are the three shorts that i got and then i also ended up getting another one of like these tank tops i love this new taupe color that just came out i think someone's alarm is going off sorry if you can hear that <laughs> this is the the ribbed cropped tank top from the tna i have this in like so many colors you guys know that this is like an absolute staple of mine i still get this in a size extra, extra small love the way it fits it's like a super crop so easy to pair with everything and i like use it as like a cover-up too so yeah i really like this color and just wanted like another option so that's everything i got i did place another order because i wanted to get like i said those other shorts in a size zero and then i think i ended up picking up like a couple of shirts and then a new pair of trouser bottoms too wow what did i just do to my hair can the person outside figure their life out Oh my god. But anyways, it was um it was nice to try to get some like new shorts and stuff before I officially had to Palm Springs again. <laughs> I also picked up some new Birkenstocks too. I love like this really neutral color. It's called almond, I think. I don't know. I'll make sure I'm linking them for you guys. Looks kind of weird with these sweatpants, but yeah, I think that they're really cute, good neutral color, and you guys know how much I love Birkenstocks. New year, new set of Birkenstocks, right? <laughs> Juan made us some lunch. It's our usual. We got some burgers that he picked up on his walk. We got our bell pepper with some egg and some cheese in it. Delicious. Um, some buns and then an avocado red onion mix as well. This isn't our normal burgers that we love. So this would be fun to try. So the patties are from a local butcher and then everything else from just like the grocery store. So we'll see if these are better than our whole food favorite ones. I mean, the buns aren't as soft, but oh. I can tell already. We already started. We already started. The difference. The buns are definitely worse. Yeah, right? The buns are not as good. What do you think of the... I think the burgers are fine. The other ones are bigger, though. walking in the room when it's such a nice day out <sighs> and the birds that's all you can hear is the birds just chirping away it's so soothing to me and now that it's spring the full-on jungle and our backyard is back so it's very green and serene and I love it so much I'm wanting to put up curtain rods. All of the curtain rods that I've been waiting on for so long, like I'm not kidding you, like eight months, they finally arrived, um, I would say like a week and a half ago. I thought for sure I wasn't gonna be able to do it until after we got back from Palm Springs, but since we didn't go, I really wanna put up uh, all the curtain rods so that I can finish hanging up all the curtains. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but there's missing curtains in the living room downstairs. And so I really want to do it, but Juan's full from lunch and he wants to take like a little nap. I saw him curled up on the couch downstairs. Um, so in the meantime, I got like everything ready and I'll show you whenever, hopefully we get to it today. If not, I'm for sure, we're for sure doing it tomorrow. It's just a matter of convincing him because I do need help with it. I could do it myself, but anyways, while he's doing that, <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to read a little bit. I showed this in the pack with me video. I started reading It Ends With Us. I took a break from it when I was sick because 
couldn't be bothered to read or do anything with my life <laughs> while I was recovering. So I want to get back into it. From what I read so far, I only read like two chapters. It was so good. So I'm going to take some time right now, read, listen to the birds chirping away outside, and just have like a little relaxing time. Hmm. I love it so much. <laughs> Before I forget, I wanted to show you guys the before <laughs> of what the curtains look like. Hi Oliver, down there. So as of right now, we have like a sliding rod thing. I don't even know what it's called at the moment, but the curtains slide against this. However, if you'll see right here, there's like a dip in the ceiling that we didn't account for. So the original plan was to continue this all the way over and you can see that it's over here and here as well. Um, but because of the dip in the ceiling, we kind of had to change our plans. So for the longest time, you'd see that there has never been any curtains over these two windows. So that was never the plan. But we do have these curtain rods. These are the curtain rods that I've been waiting on for so, so, so long. They're from Pottery Barn and just love the look of them. So I have this one laid out right here to go above the sliding window. And then I also have these two laid out right here to go above these windows. And then I have two more that I still need to get out of the packaging to go above these two windows over here by the TV. I started laying everything out <laughs> to get us ready to go. These are gonna be the curtain rings. Um, I'm putting 10 on each curtain. These are the four curtains that are still left to go up. So I went ahead and just got these all ready to go with curtain rings attached to them. I'm gonna see how it looks with the rings um, and see, I don't know, how I like it. I really want to do this look. So hopefully I like that look. And then obviously once they're hung up, I will iron them out and everything, steam them out. So yeah, pretty excited about that. And then the curtain rods for this room right here came as well. I do not have any curtains for that room because the ceilings in that room are taller than the ceilings here. I think that they're like 124 inches. So a lot of curtains are kind of like custom when it gets to that high. There are some that I found on Amazon and also a pottery barn. So it's just a matter of like trying to figure out which ones I want. But I do at least want to hang the curtain rods in there, get that out of the way. And then once I get the curtains, it'll be fine. But that's for like another day. I really want to focus on getting these ones in this room hung up so that this room could be done so that's the before at least i have been cuddling with oliver so i'm a little hairy at the moment <laughs> what are you doing babe yes, oh you want to do it oh oh that's good news i was just gonna go back upstairs and watch some more Grey's anatomy i was gonna i wasn't gonna pester you i was gonna let you rest because i just said how are you doing that's it and his response was let's do it so I guess let's do it. I had some cheese its as a snack. Those are pretty delicious. It's been my snack the whole time that I was sick. <laughs> hey babes, good morning. So we are headed off to go do some like curbside pickups. I have an order to pick up from Nordstrom. I had something shipped to the Nordstrom store when I thought it was gonna be out of town. Um, but obviously I'm not. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then I ordered a few things from the container store as well. So I'm gonna pick that up, have them bring it out to my car so I don't have to even go inside. So we're gonna run off and do that right now. And you guys, I have an unbelievable story to tell you when it comes to hanging the curtains yesterday. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so really quickly before, the light turns green because there's no street noise right now. You guys, <laughs> like why do I have the worst luck when it comes to trying to hang these effing curtains in my living room? And I kid you not when it's when I tell you I've been trying to hang them for over eight months and it's just like one delay after the other or one issue after the other, like the structural of the house, of like the ceiling and stuff. So, okay. <laughs> so we were only able to hang two curtains yesterday, um, two curtain rods, the curtain rods that above those two windows where there wasn't any curtain rods before. We started to try to hang the curtain rod above the sliding glass door 
And you guys, we hit a water pipe behind the wall. I can't make this shit up. So our water has been turned off since yesterday because water started coming out of the wall and we have a plumber that is supposed to be here today. <sighs> like, like, I, like, what is life? What is this? Like, I can't catch a freaking break. Um, and then the two windows next to the fireplace that was my bad. I ordered a curtain rod, like two curtain rods that were too large. So I reordered <laughs> uh, two curtain rods and those will be coming in like a week. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we were only able to get two curtain rods up yesterday. Out of all of that. I am just praying that it's an easy fix for the water I, you know why would they put a water pipe where you would hang a curtain it's never happened before like I literally cannot make sense of it at all and it was like an eighth of a drill bit that we used so it's like the small oh okay anyways we're about to be at Nordstrom right now so we're gonna do the pickup oh I should probably say that I'm on my way but yeah I will um I'll show you guys later when I get home what we were able to achieve and not achieve. <laughs> with Juan about the plumber they had my condo address even though I gave them our other address I don't know but they should still be coming between 10 and 2 today so I don't know we'll see it's already 11 ah thank you for calling the container store So at Nordstrom, I ended up getting Juan a couple of shirts. I'm trying to like revamp his wardrobe a little bit. But then I also got two items here from Top Man, so the men's department. I thought that this sweatshirt was really cute and could be like a nice casual one. I mean, the inside I wish was fleece, but it's like a lightweight terry cloth feeling, which could be fine maybe for the summertime now. Okay. I mean, it has the same loose band fit as like the Ritzia sweatshirts that I miss and love. It's actually not bad. And it just says thanks with like a little smiley. I thought it was cute and I love the color of it. I got this in, I think a men's small or is it an extra small? An extra small. Hmm. I don't remember it being $65. Maybe not for $65. <laughs> and then I got a leather jacket or a full leather jacket from Topshop. I've been really wanting to find like a cropped leather jacket. And I saw this one, it looks cute on the model. Okay, it's kind of big, but I like the length of it. Hmm, I don't think that this is working out for me. <laughs> the sleeves are kind of long, kind of bulky. Hmm. I might have to continue my hunt. But I thought that the color was gonna be nice for the summertime because it's light, 
not like a black color, you know. It's really lightweight too, it feels nice. But I think that it's just, might be a little bit big like in the shoulders and such. I don't know, we'll see if I can like style it and if it could be cute, because it doesn't need to be fitted, you know? Hmm, okay. Well that's what I got for my Nordstrom pickup. Nothing too exciting. And then for the container store, Container store is exciting. I don't know if you guys recall like when I moved in here and I like added all organizational things to these drawers, but I ended up getting more of them for the spare bathroom. I mean, when you're sick and bored and shopping online, I mean, that's, that's what happens. <laughs> but I really wanted um, to fix this drawer. This drawer is a huge mess. It's really like my feminine products and hair products and stuff. I need to reorganize this drawer, but you can see that this bin, it's like pretty big. And so I wanted to get like two of this size ones for here to kind of like add a divider between the two. And then this one, I will take over to the spare bathroom. I'm gonna wipe them down though. like these little clips because then you can clip all of the bins together so that they don't move. It's honestly genius. Now I just need to reorganize in here a little bit. Okay, so one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this is because I got like disposable, micro-degradable, like, washcloths that I can use, like, maybe twice and recycle, like, throw away. But I wanted to stack them in here instead of, like, keeping the box out, if that makes sense. I'm trying this to see if it helps with, like, my skin. Kind of makes sense. I mean, you know, washcloths kind of breed bacteria and everything, so... And this I can stand up. All cute and stuff. There, now we have all of like my feminine products obviously all right here. I added in my washcloths that I can grab from. I have an empty bin that I can grow into. These are all hair products and this is like a mixture of hair products and skin products as well as some like backups and Q-tips and stuff. Let's go over to the spare bathroom now. The lighting in this bathroom is terrible, but we've been kind of keeping separate bathrooms as we've been sick. But these are the three drawers that I wanted to add these organizational things to. I think that they're all empty. Looks like I have some old bins that I was trying to use to organize in here. So we're just gonna remove all this. I just figured it would be nice to add it in here so like whenever guests come and they want to put things in the drawers, they can kind of like keep it organized. But also I just, have an OCD when it comes to like that sort of stuff. I love my drawers to be organized and not just like floating around. Okay. Let's start with the bottom drawer. Bathroom. We're adding little bins to it like we have in ours. You excited? So excited. And then for this one, I got three of like this length, so I can just add it down. Or is it four? No, it's three. So here's what they look like. Top drawer is this setup. Middle drawer is like three, like of the same size. And the bottom one is like the top. So this is great. They're pretty dirty though, so I need to clean them. But yay. 
nice and easy. And look, they all like stay in their spot. So let's give you an update of the curtain situation. So these are the two curtain rods that we were able to get hung up yesterday. These are the ones that <laughs> what we ordered was too large, my bad. So we ended up at least taking off the other um, curtain rod that was up there and took down the curtains to get it all like prepped and ready for when the new ones do come. And then over here is the problematic situation. I cannot believe this. You guys, this is the only hole that we made into the wall, like that tiny hole up there and we punctured some sort of like water pipe behind it. So yeah, we're waiting for the plumber to come, but I do like the way that this looks over here. So just imagine this in the whole room, it's gonna look so, so, so good. I'm like seriously crossing my fingers that they're not gonna have to like open up the whole wall to fix that issue. They just have to like maybe open it up like another inch or two max to fix what's behind it. I mean, we are pretty quick to turn off the water too. So we're just hoping there's no like water damage behind the wall as well. Um, crap, because we really want to get the curtain rod on the up. <laughs> I think I'm gonna watch um, a series that I started last night. I started Lincoln Lawyer on Netflix. It's really good actually. I decided I should probably take a break from watching Grey's Anatomy. So I started that and I'm on episode four, I think already. I really, really like it. What are you doing? Breaking spider webs. Breaking spider webs with twigs? Yeah. None. Break them with your fingers? No, you can just leave them alone. We have all the curtains just sitting right here, ready to go. God. And then just a mess everywhere else. There's the curtain rods to go into this room whenever we get time to do that over there. So, oh, you could see, I forgot to even say, the second chair came. Ah, I'm so excited. We've been waiting for so long, over six months for the second chair to come. You can see that they both swivel around. Now I can finally like move on with my decor in this room, like finalizing everything. I moved over like this little puff that I had under the console table just to give like an idea of how much room I have. So yeah, yay, that came and then still undecided for some sort of bar cart to go over in this space. So here's another angle, I guess, of the room. It's kind of an awkward room, <laughs> has lots of light obviously, but here's like the two chairs, the rug, and then the huge bookcases over here too. Love this little space. Can, oh, he's running the water. Open. Yeah, plumber's here. I guess it's not as bad as what we thought. I mean, the few of the examples he was giving could have been kind of bad. But let me show you the wall. <laughs> Our damage, it's so stupid. Here we are, he opened up the wall. Just our luck, this small little pipe, and we hit it. And it's just like a little puncture in it. And that's it. So he needs to cut out a section of the pipe and replace it. But he was talking about like opening up the ceiling and doing all this other crazy stuff. And we're like, well, let's just, let's start here if we can. So, but then we'll have to have a drywall guy, I guess, come out and fix the wall. So this is, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a while, I think, until we can get the curtain rod hung up. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Figured I'd give you guys an update though. Uh, all I can do all day today is just laugh. But anyways, an update. The plumbing has been fixed. Our water is turned back on. Oh, the simplest things in life, you know? I miss tapping water. <laughs> he was able to fix just like from that one spot. He cut off four inches and like replaced it and did some magic in there. So no further wall opening or ceiling opening, thank God. But now tomorrow we need to try to get a hold of a drywall guy to try to come out this week to fix that. Um, so yeah. I think our weekend of bad luck is ending. Let's cross our fingers there. <laughs> For the last several hours, I ended up taking a nap <laughs> and I've been watching a few more episodes of The Lincoln Lawyer. It's pretty much how I'm going to be wrapping up my Sunday. I'm starting to upload all the footage for this vlog so that it can start to get it edited and maybe I'll cap it off with like reading a little bit of my book. Otherwise, I'm going to try to have a nice relaxing night given my crazy weekend, I guess. <laughs>
thanks for watching this weekend vlog hopefully you guys found humor in uh, a little bit of my misery <laughs> trip getting canceled breaking a water pipe and needing it to repair it. oh my god what is this i will be vlogging over this next week so my next video will be a probably a day or a couple days in my life i have a hair appointment this next week i'm gonna go get my nails done so we've got some fun things coming up so i'll just see you in a couple of days in my next vlog bye guys love you guys so much mm -hmm. bye <laughs>